Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. So I've just sent my husband to the shops to buy a whole lot of staples, non-perishables and freezable stuff in light of what's happening with this coronavirus stuff. I have been like resisting succumbing to panic and hysteria of this whole thing. It's really hard to know how serious to take things. But I was just having lunch with, um, I'm just going to say a friend because I don't want to disclose anybody. But um, she has a, hang on just a second, Lindsay's calling. Ooh. Hello? Hello. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, see you soon. Bye. She, she has a nurse f friend who said that she thinks it's almost certain that there will be a public lockdown quite soon. And when I heard that, it got me thinking that we should probably just go out and get some staples. Not because I fear go having to duck out to the shops to get food. It's more that I feel like everybody else is going to have the same idea that they need staples and that there won't be anything like that left so there has been no official word of that happening but that's what seems to be happening in other countries so he's gone out and i got him to buy like pasta rice flour yeast tinned beans frozen veg um frozen berries frozen mango um, a couple of things of meat and chicken and some toothpaste we're okay for nappies we've got cloth as well if we need um, like tin tomatoes mm, yeah things things along those lines That's The nurse is a student nurse and she also said that the university is talking about bringing their graduations forward six months because the hospitals don't think there's going to be enough staff to deal with all the people that, that need to be in hospital, which is bloody scary. I was also just talking to my, I'm just gonna say relatives because I don't wanna like, anyway, in Sydney, and one of them is a teacher and she said that at the moment like the public word from the Department of Education is that is like business as usual but in reality the, the emails that they're getting from the principal indicate that there is probably going to be a two-week lockdown with um, like e-learning so from all these accounts that I've heard today it really seems as though that is likely something that could happen um, and I just like like as I said I don't want to contribute to hysteria or panic or like jump on the bandwagon or whatever and up until now I haven't been like I didn't rush out and get 5,000 rolls of toilet paper and I've kind of been a bit like oh come on people like as if you're not going to be able to just go to the shops but it's sort of becoming like, well, if they want to do a two week lockdown to make, to sort of try and contain the virus, the, well, that makes sense. I was watching this documentary, which explained things a little bit better. It was saying that this particular virus, um, the way it sort of sits in your throat is different to a regular flu virus. Um, the, the bug or whatever, is a lot more concentrated which means that you can catch it just by being in the same room and the sharing the same air as someone so it's not just coming into contact with like um droplets of saliva or whatever it's actually just breathing the same air as them so that's how contagious it is um and from what i've read and everything i think it's 15 percent of cases are severe and the rest are like mild and it's the older population who um, are with pre-existing health issues who are more susceptible to 
um, having like serious cases. So I don't feel like threatened really from an illness perspective, but it is really confusing. Yesterday I was thinking, should I be telling Lindsay to come home um, cause, uh, to work? Um, and should we be like canceling our domestic flights to Sydney that are meant to be in a couple of weeks? And um, it's just been very confusing knowing how serious you should take things. But anyway, I did just want to share those snippets that I've heard from like people that I know that I people in because I feel like if you don't have that connections, it's very hard to know what pieces of info from like the internet to take seriously because on the one hand you've got people just saying just wash your hands just be careful just stay home if you are exhibiting sick symptoms but then on the other hand you have people saying everyone should just isolate themselves and you know be cautious and whatnot it's a little bit scary thinking about what could happen this is just such a bizarre situation um, but anyway, I am going to put the hair on this mermaid and get going. I am actually going out for a friend's birthday tonight. Might be a last little social thing for a little while. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. My name's Alex, by the way. I usually do mum and lifestyle videos, but please feel free to subscribe if, you're, um, if you want to. Anyway, I will. good luck everybody and I will talk to you soon. Bye!